Hey, it's Clandan here and welcome to the AI Board Show where we will talk to you about all things AI Board. In this video, we're going to give you a very quick tour of what is behind each of the options you can see on the main menu so that we can get you navigating around the game quickly and easily. We will also go over the save game menu step by step so that you know how to access those in the future. Before we get into it, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get more content like this in the future. Also, download the app which is available on iOS and Android if you're new to the game. The links are in the description to this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look at is the tutorial button. As can be seen on your screen, this takes you to the tutorial page where you can go through the tutorial for the board game step by step. There are seven tutorials here which helps you with the following. Number one, the layout of the board. Simply follow the on-screen instructions by tapping on the next button after reading the information provided. This is the same for the rest of the tutorials. Number two, this covers selecting and deselecting your pawns. Number three, this covers moving your pawns. Number four, this covers your pawns steps. Number five, this covers attacking and defending. Number six, covers scoring. This deals with what isn't included in the calculation of the scores. And finally, number seven, this is the second part of scoring and this deals with what counts towards the calculation of the scores. We have a series of videos which reenacts those tutorials as well, so feel free to check those out. The next item is saved games. All of your saved games will be stored here. You can replay those saved games and store them online. This is actually quite a very useful tool, so we want to spend a bit of time here to explain what this is all about. At the end of a game, you will have an option to save that game by tapping on the save button as can be seen on the screen. You'll be taken to the saved games page. You can then choose the slot in which you wish to save the game by tapping on the grey box next to the slot's number. Your game will then appear in the selected slot. At any time in the future, you can then access it via this saved games page and selecting the slot in which your saved game is. Each saved game has a reference to the date and time that the game was saved. This game is in fact saved locally onto your device. You open the save game by clicking on the trophy icon, as can be seen here. It, is always, it always starts from the end of the game by clicking on the first of the navigation buttons on the top left hand side of the screen. That will take you to the start of the saved game and you can then go forwards or backwards by one step by tapping on the middle buttons. So let's do the first here, which is taking us back to the um, beginning of the game and the middle buttons taking us into the first step, second step and back into the second, second step and then back to the first step. At the top of the navigation buttons, you can see the number of moves that was made to complete this particular game, which is 83. As you navigate back and forth, it will tell you the number of the moves you're currently viewing, which I demonstrated earlier. To exit, simply tap on the grey arrow pointing left. You can also save your game online by holding down the cloud icon when the arrow is pointing into the cloud for the particular slot. You should get a message confirming that you've successfully saved your game to the cloud. Remember to ensure that you're connected to the internet, otherwise you cannot save to the cloud. If you delete a saved game, that just deletes it from your device, but you can still pull down from the cloud that very same game. 
you will have access to three free local save slots. You can purchase more slots if you wish. There are no free cloud save slots. These have to be purchased. You can access the purchase page from the cart icon on the, on the top right corner of the save game page like this. You can purchase more local save spaces in packs of 100 save slots per pack and 10 cloud space slots per pack from the cloud save menu like this. And those should then be available for you to use. The next item is single player. You will click here to play the predefined boards. This starts from level one and the higher you go, the harder the game. You can only access the next level after successfully completing the current level that is available to you. Once the new level is available to you, simply click on it and it takes you to the game so you can begin playing. It is important that you understand the rules and dynamics of playing the game as this can be quite confusing for a first time user. The tutorial section explains this in detail as mentioned earlier or if you are TLDR then we have done a separate and more detailed video explaining all the key fundamentals of the board game which will get you playing like a pro by the end of it so do check that video out. The next item to cover on the menu page is online matches. Here you'll be able to access the online multiplayer matches where you can play against other people in real time. Again, we have done a separate and more detailed video explaining all you need to know about starting an online match. The first of the three buttons you can see on the screen allows you to host a match by inviting a friend to join you on the match you're hosting simply by giving them a code. The code is generated when you select one of the predefined boards or you can simply customize your own board. Secondly, your friends can host the game and you can simply join their game by entering the code your friends give you by using the second of the three yellow buttons on the screen. Or finally, you can play against someone else by being matched automatically with other players via the auto button, which is the last of the yellow buttons on the screen, and by selecting from one of the predefined boards. Next on this menu page is AI Pro. Here you can code, learn and train your AI bots using machine learning and we'll be covering this in great detail in other videos. Finally, we have the three icons on the top left hand side of this menu page. The first of which is the info button. The info button continuously displays key information you need about the page you're on and what to do to navigate through relevant pages. The second icon is the cloud icon. This is a direct link to the online blog where you can find more useful information about the game. And finally, we have the chat icon. From this page, you can send direct messages to get one-to-one -one support. All of your specific questions can be answered by the support team. Simply type in whatever questions you have and someone will respond to you with an answer in due course. Do bear in mind that the time differences around the world does count. So depending on the time of the day, you can expect to get a response in a few hours, if not less. Now you should be able to find your way around the game from the menu page, armed with the knowledge you now have from this video. Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.